Hey everyone, I'm Kelly from Project Invent. In Project Invent, we get students from across the country inventing solutions for their community. In our program, students have invented everything from football helmets that can detect signs of concussion to smart belts that can help visually impaired people cross the road safely. Oftentimes, our students start off with no engineering or coding experience at all, which is really hard to believe because the inventions they create are incredible and pretty daunting. It seems kind of crazy to come up with something that's never existed before. But in reality, most inventions are made up of ideas that already exist but are just applied to new problems, which makes inventing kind of easy. Let's take the belt idea. A group of students learned that one man had been hit by cars twice. He's visually impaired and not able to see. The problem was veering. They decided to create a belt that could alert him when he was walking off to the side while crossing the road. A smart belt that can tell when you're veering to one side or the other and alerts you seems super futuristic. But actually, we can break it down into some very simple parts. Turns out, every invention can be broken down into two parts, an input and an output. And usually these are things that you're already familiar with. For example, an input is something like a switch, button, or motion. It's something you do to trigger an action. If you can think of all the ways you can turn on a light, by turning on a switch, pressing a button, or waving your hand, those are all inputs to tell the room that you want the lights on. An output is something like a light, sound, or movement. Think about when you turn on your car. All of those beeps, flashing lights, and the engine roaring are all outputs in response to you turning the key. Now if we look at the smart belt, we want to find out how to build this idea by breaking it up into inputs and outputs. They want the belt to tell the user when they're walking at a dangerous angle. So the input would be the angle, and the output would be something like a vibration or sound. But how do you measure angle or create a vibration? Luckily, we can find all of our answers in a technology we're all familiar with, a smartphone. When you're using maps on your phone, it knows exactly what direction you're headed and points an arrow that way. It does that with a gyroscope. It also has a vibration motor inside that can alert you when you get a notification. Now it's your turn. Think of a crazy idea and try to break it down into inputs and outputs. You can use websites like SparkFun or Adafruit to find out what inputs and outputs already exist for you to build your invention. And then from there, you'll be an official inventor. Anyone can do it. Thank you so much for listening and go and try and invent something new.